In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a brand new product from Jackery called the Explorer 3000. It weighs 62 pounds, but it's actually one of the lightest units you can get for the power output that it's got. It outputs 3000 watts of electricity and they've tried to make this thing super portable. It's got two rubber wheels on the back, recessed handles on the side so it's really easy to pick up, but it's even got an integrated trolley. Now this has to be one of the best ones I've ever seen because when you put this thing down, it completely disappears. And this is going to be important because if you want to put it inside of a camper or an RV, this will allow it to take a lot less space. They also made big improvements around how you can charge this unit. You can actually charge it from 0 to 100% in just 2.4 hours. Now that's a big deal considering the battery inside is 3024 watt hours of runtime. And the other feature I personally love is that there are no more AC charging bricks. You just plug this thing right into the wall and that's how it's able to get these super fast speeds up to 1800 watts of AC input. Now this is a big unit. You could use this for home backup or power anything you want while you're on the road camping. And this smart display makes it a lot easier. You can clearly see how much power is going in and out. They kept the power distribution the same as other Jackeries. They've put all the ports on the front. Now they've included four AC outlets that you can use up to 20 amps a piece, totaling 3000 watts. Now this electricity is pure sign and I'll show you the test I did later in the video. And if you do any kind of camping, you're going to love the fact that they've also included a 120 volt 30 amp RV outlet. This is going to plug right into your camper and it basically simulates shore power, but you can use this thing anywhere you go. And for DC ports, they've included a 12 volt standard car cigarette plug. And you've also got four USB outlets, two USB-A and two USB-Cs that are rated for 100 watts each. And even though the top of the unit is completely flat, there is no wireless charging inside of this unit. But a big deal for this model is they finally got an app to control everything. Now this is available for iOS or Android and I found the setup really easy. Turn the unit on, you're going to see these icons start to blink and immediately it binds with the app and you can essentially control all of the critical features. Now I found that this app does not have as many features as some competitors, but it gave you the ability to see all of the power going in and out. You can turn the outlets on and off and most importantly, you can do things like control the timeout. That means if you're going to use it in a built-in instance, installation. You don't have to worry about this thing ever going to sleep if you don't want to. Jackery made some big claims about this thing. First, I wanted to make sure this thing was putting out pure sine wave power and it's important to do the test under a load. So I ran my small heater and the Tektronix did confirm that this is in fact putting out pure sine wave power. That means you should be able to run anything, even sensitive electronics. Next, they advertised this thing as being able to put out 3000 watts of power. So I wanted to confirm that it really could do that. Many devices never pass this test. So first I connected up a heat gun. That's around 1400 watts. And the small electric heater on its maximum setting uses about 1200 watts. Now this still wasn't quite getting me to 3000. So I added that small red heater and got right to about 2900 watts. Ran it for about 20 minutes with no issues at all. And now for the ugliest test of all and I say that because when you buy one of these units, it's got a battery inside. They rate this one for 3024 watt hours of run capacity. But that's not what you're really going to get and in terms of actual power, that would mean you could run 1000 watts for 3 hours. Now of course if you're running 100 watts, that would mean you could run it for 30 hours. So that is a lot of power. But to test this, you have to run a maximum load and deplete the battery all the way to zero. Now my special meter monitors this and it determined that the unit gives you an actual runtime of 2,531 watt hours. That gives it an 84% efficiency rating. Now they beat a lot of competitors like Blue Eddy, but they're actually not as efficient as some of the older Jackery units. Doesn't mean it's bad, it just kind of puts it in the middle of the road in terms of efficiency. The next test involves what I call Big Bertha. That's the name of this old air compressor made by Snap-on. It's 20 years old and this motor is awful. No power station on the market has ever been able to start it. But the reason I do this test is it causes an overload. That means the device, if it's Give working it correctly, chance. should just go to an overload mode, protect itself and automatically shut the outlets off. But many power stations I've tested in the past either get destroyed or they cannot handle it. When you do an overload test with lights and things like heaters, they don't cause enough of kind of a load or a surge to really test it out. With the Jackery, I tested it three times and all three times it went into its safety mode. All you had to do was reset the AC outlets by turning them off and on, but the unit didn't suffer any damage or issues. Next, I wanted to test out the solar input. Now this model is capable of handling up to 1400 watts of solar input. 
Now I don't have that many panels to test, but I did use one of their actual Jackery panels and these things are really good. They're built super well. They've got a semi-rigid frame along with those built-in supports. The other reason people like these is that they are truly plug and play. There's no programming, no setup. You just unfold the panel, plug it right into the back of the unit and everything is completely automatic. Now this is just a single 200 watt panel, but you could daisy chain up to a full 1400 watts. It is sunny out, but it's kind of muted behind those trees. So I wasn't expecting to get the full 200 watts, but I was pleased to see that after it was on for a few minutes, I was getting about 160 watts. People love Jackery stuff because of the build quality. Super well built. This is exactly like their smaller units. This built-in trolley system really works. The only concern that any buyer may have is first the price, but you are getting a very high output unit. So if you don't need that much, certainly go for a smaller sized unit. But the next worry for some are gonna be the batteries. These are lithium ion batteries inside. That's the same type of battery Jackery has been pretty much using since day one. The difference here is many people today want lithium iron phosphate batteries. What Jackery told me is they designed that specifically with lithium ion in mind because they wanted the lightest weight unit that people could take around with them because most of their customers want their units to be portable, whether that's camping or just for home backup power. The last concern is about safety. It is true that lithium ion batteries can more easily catch fire or explode if you shoot them with a bullet, stick them with a knife, or you cut them in half. Now those things are kind of ridiculous and people do tests that kind of spook people, but the reality is your phone has a lithium ion battery, all of your power tools have lithium ion batteries, and they're not generally exploding. Phones have exploded in the past because if you think about their size, they are so small, it's actually fairly easy to twist a phone or to puncture it. These are more like your power tool batteries. They're encased in cages and they have plastic around them so that the batteries can just not easily be damaged. These companies aren't stupid. They don't want to get sued for somebody getting killed over a battery blowing up. So they design them so that the batteries are protected inside so that they're going to better hold up against issues. The issue with lithium iron phosphate batteries are they are much heavier. If they wanted to make this device with the same amount of power output, Put, it would literally weigh almost twice what the unit does now. That means I couldn't really pick it up without help. Now lithium iron phosphate is going to give you more charge cycles and for some people that may be a concern but you need to remember that when they advertise one of these devices as being able to run for a certain number of charge cycles that doesn't mean that if you recharge the unit a thousand times it stops working. It means that after that thousandth time it will start to hold less runtime. So the battery that went to 100% today will only give you the effective output of 99%, then 98%, but it takes a while. The other thing you need to realize is every time you plug it in the wall, that's not a charge cycle. A charge cycle is going from zero to 100%. If you went camping every single weekend and you charged it fully once a week, you would be able to use this unit with maximum output for over three years. And that's using it every single weekend. Now after the three years, it doesn't just die. That means that in the third and fourth year, the battery will now hold a little bit less than it did at the beginning. But for many people, the portability and the ease of use and build quality are the number one concerns. Jackery could have easily put lithium iron phosphate batteries in this thing. They did not want it to be bigger and heavier because it just wouldn't be manageable for a lot of the people that would consider buying it. And finally for the price, this thing is $27.99. I've got a special link and a coupon code below that can save you some additional money. You should also note the warranty for this is three years, but if you register it online, they extend it to a full five years. And is this the perfect unit for you? Well, that's something that only you can decide, but hopefully this video helped give you some information to make that decision. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.